I'm Alan Spears with Occupy Democrats, and in some breaking news that seems to be occurring pretty much every week now, the bad-built MAGA Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene has made a complete and total fool of herself. Now, as of this recording, we are just mere hours away from the first presidential debate between President Biden and Donald Trump to be hosted on CNN. And naturally, we have both sides, Republican and Democrat, in full swing campaigning and stumping for each candidate, and one side is not doing so well. It would seem that the MAGA nation is not content to just make themselves the laughing stock and embarrassment of our own country, but they want to spread the word and make sure that every country in the world is aware of their foolishness and childlike nature. And already we have these far-right MAGA Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene and so many others are decrying this debate and saying that it's rigged, it hasn't happened yet, at least as of this recording. It really goes to show just how scared and frankly incompetent these people are. They know that because this debate has been structured to force the candidates to kind of talk about the issues, they can't just play up to an audience or try to get in one-liners or zingers or whatever. They're going to have to focus on the issues and they know Trump cannot do that. So it really does boggle the mind when these MAGA Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene go onto these shows, onto these news channels to be interviewed, and they are asked questions about the debate and about the election, and they freak out. They don't have answers. They just throw tantrums. It's, it's so embarrassing, and I'm so sick and tired of these people somehow being representatives of this country. I mean, seriously, are these the kinds of people that the Republicans want representing them, that they want out there speaking on their behalf. I guess this really is just the best that the Republicans have to offer at this point, and that they have no shame, and that this is what it's going to be like from here on out. They're going to be the party of oppression, uh, embarrassment, and spectacular failure. And that is embodied perfectly in the clip we're going to be watching today, where Marjorie Taylor Greene was taking an interview with an Australian news outlet. When Greene was asked a very simple question as to whether or not she was going to accept the results of the upcoming election, uh, she freaked out. She had an absolute meltdown and childlike tantrum as she can't even answer the most simple of questions. It's not even a hard question. It's, it's a yes. You answer yes. Are you going to accept the results of the election? Yes, you are. Or at least that's what she should answer. But of course, naturally, her and the rest of these MAGA Republicans, no matter what, unless Donald Trump wins and unless he gives absolute sweeping victory, they're going to say the election was rigged. It's so ridiculous and so childlike. I'm getting so sick of dealing with these people. But rest assured, we are not alone as Green has made herself the laughing stock of Australia as well as pretty much the rest of the world. So take a look and see for yourself how Green had an absolute meltdown and could not answer even just the simplest question posed to her. Take a look. Uh, and, and, and tried to pervert the truth. He told the truth, and we appreciate him for that. And if it doesn't go your way, if Biden wins, will you accept the result? Again, what does this have to do with Julian Assange? It's seriously. It's the really, natural that's extension what we're of supposed a question to be about talking. truth. And why would uh, I? What network is this? Why would this, I? What is this? ABC in Australia? Is she getting her? Is she getting any marching orders from the Democrat Party? I mean, it, like, is this what you decided to come up with today? You're. A you're a prominent figure in U.S. politics. The first uh, debate is tomorrow. The result of the election is on the minds not just of Americans but of the whole world. So it's a na it's a natural point of curiosity. But I understand that we've reached the end of uh, the questions that you want to answer. Thank you for talking to us about Julian Assange and for joining the program. Thank you. Good night. Don't you just love how when Green or pretty much any of these MAGA Republicans are asked even the most simple of questions, if they are just asked a question that just vaguely challenges them, it's, oh, it's the Democrats, it's the Democratic Party, they're getting marching orders from the Democrats, or maybe it's just a question, you goon. Why is it always a ploy with these people? Why do Green and these MAGA people think that everything is some deep state operation or a ploy by Hillary Clinton or George Soros or 
I don't know, list any number of different people. Can it not just be you're being asked a question? Could it not be that just actions have consequences and words have consequences? And that because you all have been acting like children for the past eight, nine years, you all are now suffering the consequences of your words and actions? And good grief, are you so incapable that you just can't even give a canned answer? Like the bog standard political answer for your team? Hell, I'm not MAGA, but I could even just go like, well, you know, this is going to be a tight run election. And I'm excited to see the voters turn out and support Donald Trump for a second term and get him back in the White House so he can make America great again. I don't know. Could you not just say something like that? I don't know. Can you just like calm down, Marjorie? You're on a news station being interviewed. You're going to be asked questions and you're in politics, so you're going to be challenged. Chill. I mean, seriously, are we really letting people who are so incapable of controlling their emotions and acting so ridiculously, like, we're letting these people like Marjorie Taylor Greene run this country and make important decisions for us? Seriously? Don't let Marjorie Taylor Greene go out there and in any way represent this country. She is a national embarrassment and should be utterly ashamed of herself. This interview is just case in point of the brain rot that has built up the MAGA movement. And I, for one, am greatly looking forward to in the next few months having President Biden re-elected and Donald Trump and his MAGA goons hopefully locked away for many years to come.